I feel that if I can describe Gamora's like arc in um, in Guardians One, it would have to be through Queen uh, Break Free. You know, she's she's on a mission to to be free or die because she's she's over it. So she's there's a there's a there's a selfish uh, essence to her, and it makes her uh, prerogative very personal. Versus like in in this in this one, she's uh, she's on a path of redemption. So she wants to be very uh, she wants to be very present in trying to do good. I think that Gamora is realizing that Nebula's strength and power and uh, is they're much more greater. They're just greater than hers. Um, so she wants to be able to inspire Nebula to not put to not put bad feelings into what's already hers, which is her power, because then that, that's a Molotov cocktail. It's a really dangerous <laughs> weapon there. And I think that Gamora is the one that kind of senses it, and it's your job as an older sibling to do that. Um, and yeah, I think, I think making peace with my, with my sister is, is a part of the redemption. She's the only family member I'll ever know. There's no one, no one other like me. Um, Thanos made sure that he wiped that. So if Nebula is all I have, then then she's worth she's worth the sacrifice, you know, and and the work and the pain. I f that's I feel like that's where Gamora is at when it comes to her and her sister. I think he likes her more than she likes him for sure, but I don't think it's because he's not the one for her. According to her, I don't I just don't think she's thought that far, love for herself. Right now, she's trying to make amends with all the wrong that she's done. The last thing she feels that she's gonna deserve is, is love, you know, from a partner. So Quill it takes the position in her, in her brain as just a family member. It's just he knows what he wants, and he envisioned it first. You know, and, and, and he doesn't compromise uh, the integrity of, of what he wants to do, of his work and his craft, his craft and his voice. He's very skilled and he has fun. I think all the issues that we're gonna be tackling, emotional issues, like um, our relationships with our fathers, um, our relationships with our friends, our siblings, uh, what is cons what is what is family to you, um, and and growing up? There's a lot of that, but like it's more like a young adult, like growing up as an adult, not just like oh I was a kid first and now like I'm an adult. It's you're an adult. How do you grow? How do you evolve from this adult that you are into a better one? And I and um, and I love that about Guardians. It gives it a very very human um, essence. Hi Lisa, here with some interesting movie extras facts for you. One of the earliest animation techniques was stop motion. It was first used in the late 1890s. Notable uses of stop motion include King Kong from 1933 and the skeleton skirmish in Jason and the Argonauts from 1963. Now, Toy Story, the first feature-length animated film to be created with CGI, generated 1,000 gigabytes of data and required 800,000 machine hours of editing. Are you an animation movie fan? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell to always be up to date with all the latest releases.